forget to subscribe and give us a like. Thank you. Here's Mrs. Small's new book. Look under Show More for more information. All right, this is the second part of You Can Do Can Map. This is where we left off. Begin with 10 wrens. A desert bird is the cactus wren. We begin with 10, four fly off. How many then remain from the 10? How many remain? Okay. So we would write it like this. Here's the big 10. Cute. 10. Four fly away. That means we're taking away. It's minus four is what? Equals what? Well, we can count the remainder. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ten minus four equals six. That's not too hard. Bluebird, bluebird, 17 bluebirds in an evergreen tree. If off fly three, how many remain in the evergreen tree? Evergreen trees are always green. They don't lose their leaves. So we have 17, that's one and seven together. 17, off fly three. Minus three. One, two, three. What does that leave us with? Well, we can say 17 and count down. So we go 17, 16, 15, 14. There's three away. So we can write the one. And the four together, which is 14. Another way you could do it is 17 minus 3. And what you do, because this is the one section. And this is the tens place. Seven minus three. So we can say seven minus three. Six, five, four. That leaves four. But we have to remember this guy, he's still here. We have to carry bring him down. So there's still the 10, but we can say seven minus three equals four, and then we add that 10, and that means it's 14, like this. 17 minus three equals 14. All right, let's do this next one. Quiet, please. Robin's resting the first day of fall. Six here, seven there. How many in all? Whenever you hear that, how many, you know that we want to add them up. How many in all? So we know that there's six here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And there's six here plus one, which makes seven, right? So we're going to add to find the total of the two or more numbers. We would say six plus seven equals what number? Some of us know that six plus six is 12. So we know that there's a six 
we could make this a six too, but it has one more digit, so we could add the one. So we could say six plus six is 12. We know that. Plus one more equals 13. One and three together. 13 is the answer. Ta da! That's not too hard. All right, let's see the next one. Nest building. Seven Orioles building nests in the spring. If each Oriole would bring six bits of string, how many bits in all would the Orioles bring? Boy, that's a lot of rhyming in that one, huh? We have seven. It says seven Orioles. Seven birds. They each bring six pieces of string. So what is missing here? Let me know. We're going to multiply. Because if there's seven birds and they each bring six, we have to say seven times a six for multiplication. And that equals I know my multiplication table, and you'll, you should memorize that, too, because it makes it a lot easier <laughs> in life. 7 times 6 does equal for 42. Sorry, 7 times 6. So another way of looking at this would be 7 plus 7. We're going to go 6, put 6 7s down here which takes a lot longer. One, two, three, four, five, six. We know seven and seven equals 14. Here's another one. We're adding them down here. And another one. 14 plus 14 plus 14, and that also equals 42. We can also say 14 this way. We're adding it. 4 and 4 make 8. 9, 10, 11, 12. Carry the 1. 3, 4. 4, 2. 42. 42. Plain pipit. 24 pipits all on a plane. 14 fly off. How many remain? Wait. I'm going to subtract because some of them fly away, huh? 24. It's the 2 and the 4 together. Plus, oh no, minus. 14 fly away, take away, subtract, what does that equal? Well, sometimes it's easier to look at it this way. So here we have 24 and 14, and we're taking away 14 from the 24. 4 minus 4, well, we know that is 0. We have 4, and 4 go away, that's 0. And then, this is a 20, and this is a, a 10. 2 minus 1 is 1. And there we go, we get the answer, 10. Right? Okay, that's not too hard. It looks complicated, but it's not too hard. By the bay, 20 blue jays by the bay, 12 fly off, how many stay? Okay, there's, some are flying away, so that means some are leaving. By the bay, 20 blue jays. That's 20, that's 10 and 10 together, it makes 20, right? 12 fly off. Minus 
they fly away. Twelve. What does that equal? If you're not used to this way, another way you could do this is to say this. Let's bring this down here. We have 20. We know that there's a 10 plus a 2 in this one, which is 12. So why don't we say 20 minus the 10, right? And that gives us 10. But two more fly away. 10 minus 2 left. 10 minus 2, that equals 8. 10, 9, 8. 20 minus 12 equals 8. Lots of chickadees, black-capped chickadees, perched in hickory trees. Four hickories, each with six chickadees. Oy, 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 oy. In all, how many chickadees in the hickories? Woo! That's a brain load. Lots of them perched in a hickory tree. We have four hickories, right? And they each have six in them. So we have four trees. And we know there's even number of birds in each tree, correct? And they tell us that it's six. So we're going to multiply the four trees by the six, six birds. And then we want to know what that number is here. So in a way, we're saying six plus six plus six. Plus six. Because it's four times. One, two, three, four. Six and six we know are twelve. And here we have six and six, twelve. We know there's a one and a one that we can put together, right? Because we're adding now. And a two and a two. Sometimes you can just see it, right? Or you can stack it up like this. 12 plus 12. But when we have a word problem like this, it's the four trees times the same number of birds in that tree. And that's called multiplication. So this would be 2 and 4. 24. 24. Garoo, garoo, hear the cranes call. Four in the waters, five in the reeds. Garoo, garoo, hear the cranes call. How many cranes are there in all? Okay, we're not looking at this side of the story here. Just this side. These are the cranes. So we're just adding because we hear how many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's easy. Or you can say because there's four in the water, five in the reeds. Four plus five is nine. You guys are so smart. All right, let's see. Loons in the lake. Loons on the water and under. Twelve loons at the lake, I wonder. With seven up, how many are under? So we're trying to find out how many. They haven't flown away, but they're still different than these ones. So we have 12 of them is how many we have altogether. Right? 
and we have some of them are upside down. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. There are five are upside down. And then let's see how many we have right side up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is another way of writing it. Seven plus five equals twelve. Or we can turn it around and say twelve. So we know we have twelve of them, but we're going to subtract the ones that are under the water from the ones that are not. And that gives us seven. Or we could say twelve. Take away seven are. Up, oh, heads up, five, our heads down. Twelve minus seven equals five. That's a lot of ways you can write these things out to understand them. Yep, yep, yep. I'm going to need more paper. Look for part three coming up soon. Ring the bell to be notified.